Hey there friends, Tiavi Tiavi TV. I want to talk to you about things the Lord is putting on my heart and in even a dream that I had I was waking from uh, last night. He began to show me some things. I saw people um, just crying out in prayer for their own prayer needs. Lord, help my family with this, help me with this. And I heard the Lord say, I'm looking for a people that will not beg for sal salvation, but bring salvation. Not beg for salvation, but bring salvation. And then he showed me uh, on down, he, he began to tell me that um, in my spirit right then, that the church is um, uh, overtrained and underused. So, so fat they sit and they go from meeting to meeting year after year. And they, they're ne it's like all of this man, kind of like you show me, I went to a meeting last night in, in a church meeting, a powerful prophet, but uh, everybody there was old. That's what he showed me. They just feed and feed on manna and manna. They never go out. They never enter the promised land. They never do anything with what they got. They never use their training. And he's looking for a people that will, first of all, fight for salvation of others and not just be about themselves. And also a people that will not just want to be trained and trained and trained, but they'll actually go and do, and they'll bring freedom to the captives. And then he began to tell me, you know, I told you that I would show you the strategies of heaven. And he showed me the other day, Joshua, Joshua went. Okay, so Joshua, he's saying this is the Joshua generation. And you know, the old generation is passing away. You know, and we see that in the Bible. The old, the old ones that wouldn't believe, they doubted, and they just wanted to do their same old way were passing away. But this new generation of, would, was rising in faith and something was stirring, something new, and we feel that now. The new wineskins Jesus talked about that he wanted to pour the new wine into. And But they need new strategies. So Joshua goes out and he meets this leader of the hosts of heaven. He said, there was a guy, a, a warrior with a sword, and he said, are you with us or with the enemy? And the warrior with the sword said, neither, but I am the leader of the hosts of heaven. And he fell down and worshiped him. But and then this angel or this whoever it was this leader of the host of heaven began to show him the strategies that seemed crazy to the natural mind you know he was going to march around these walls seven times and blow trumpets seven times and these walls were going to just fall down you know that's that's a different strategy that just doesn't make i think that's the reason it doesn't make sense to the natural mind it's spiritual strategies and we have to you have to have great faith to walk in these spiritual strategies and one of the problems with these people that have learned and learned and learned, they're overlearned, overtrained. And Jesus told, told me in the, in the dream, in the vision, what he was speaking to me also that sadly his heart was broken. He wasn't going to be able to use them in this last move because they're overtrained. It's like a job you go to and they don't want you to already be trained and think you know it all because they want to train you in their way. And that's what this is about. There's a new way he wants to train you with unless you let go of all that old stuff. He can't train you in the new way. And I'm not talking about going off on some deconstructionism. That's not what this is about. I'm talking just about new strategies, new things, new ways to reach people. Get out of the four walls of the church. Get out of that training and training and training. I've been through years of it myself. So he's speaking to us and to bring salvation, to bring freedom. Salvation is freedom in every area. It's healing. You know, he's anointed us to bring salvation, to bring healing, to bring, to bring deliverance, to bring and, and um, set the captives free. We've been given the keys. We've been given authority. We've been given everything we need. There are no limits. We just have to go. How beautiful are the feet of those that bring the news of the gospel, the freedom, the good news. We are to set the captives free, but we want to stay in the four walls and just learn how to do it, learn how to do it, and pray for ourselves and beg God to do something for us when he's saying, you fight for me. Go fight for me, warrior, and I'll fight for you. It's not going to be easy all the time. You're a warrior. Learn that you're a warrior. Learn to war. Learn the strategies of war. Learn the strategies. Learn my strategies. And that's what he's showing me here. There's new wine that's coming, and we have to tune into the new strategies. <laughs> they might seem crazy. You're going to seem crazy to some people around you. You're going to be marching around some building seven times and blowing a trumpet. Who knows what it's going to be? But we have to be tuned into the Holy Ghost and hear his strategies to even know. So I just want you to be encouraged in that you are the army of the Lord for this last day move of God. And he is, there's no limits. I told you that already. I'll tell you again, there's no limits. The only limits to God is what we put on him. What we the limits we place on him it's limitless it's limitless i'm telling you is there are no limits god jesus said that there will be nothing impossible with god 
to those who believe. Anything is possible. This mountain could be raised up and thrown into the sea if you just have a little bit of faith as a mustard seed. If you won't doubt in your heart, but you'll believe. You'll believe. And there has to be a faith that rises up, a supernatural faith imparted by the Holy Spirit. Now, I call forth that impartation of supernatural faith. The hungry will start to reach out for and grab and say, I want that. I'm ready. I'm a warrior. I'm hungry. I want to be in this last great move of God. I want to be in this last rescue mission. I want to go and set the captives free. I want to go right to the edge of hell and bring freedom in Jesus name and not by pride you will not go if you're full of pride you'll be left behind he can only use those that are, are humble he lifts up the humble and casts down the prideful you'll never go you'll never be a warrior if you're not humble if you let go Jesus washed the feet of even the one who would betray him we have to walk in humility that's number one walk in humility and pride has to go you can, pride is no part. Pride. We saw what pride did to Satan. We saw what pride did to our world. It's destruction. We see that it's the spirit of the age that we're fighting right now. The spirit of pride. And God is raising up a Joshua generation, a new generation. That's not the old generation. That's not the old guard that listen to his new ways, that get his new strategies, that will march around that wall seven times and watch it fall. You realize when they were going into the land too, after it see the manna dried up and the manna stopped right then when when there was a new move the manna stopped you know and that's what i see now the manna is going to stop all this training and training and training the provision stops and it's time to just go you're going to go you're just going to go now the manna has dried up and you have to go or you're going to just be left behind that's the only way i can put it but as they as the manna dried up and they marched forward in joshua go and read it as they marched forward you know the spies went and the and the harlot told them that you know up in the in the window in the in the they went up the wall to spy out the land and they met rahab the harlot she told them the the people were in great fear fear was upon them because they've heard of, of um, the children of israel and what happened in the and the red sea being parted but that was a supernatural thing too god is bringing great fear to our enemies right now they might be laughing right now but there is a time of fear fear of the lord that is coming as we fear the lord first it must start in the church judgment starts in the church we have to return to the fear of the lord we have to reverent awe of him and not just continue to be in sin continue to think it's okay continue to just to, oh, it's okay, a little bit won't hurt. No, it does hurt. It opens the door to the devil in your life and brings chains on you, and you'll never be part of this last day's army if you want to stay there. But if you want to be free, he has grace available to bring freedom to you so you can go. You're free to bring freedom. If you want to be free, just cry out, Lord, I want to be free. I want to walk in your freedom, and I declare it every day that I am free. No matter what attack comes, I am free. I've been raised with Christ. I'm seated with him in the heavenly realm. And I... Uh, the old meat is dead. The Galatians chapter 2, 2 or 3, Galatians chapter 2. I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that live, but Christ who is alive within me. Christ, his power, his anointing is in you, and it's going to set the captives free through you. Let my words have power, Lord. Let them reach out and grab people and shake them. <laughs> reach out and grab you and shake you in Jesus name so yeah there as a great fear coming on just like in uh, Ananias and Sapphira a uh, fear that came upon the world and many were brought to the Lord because they had a reverent awe of what was going on and miracle, the miraculous happened where they would even drag couches out into the streets and put people sick people on them just hoping that a shadow of Peter would fall on them and bring healing that's the kind of time we are getting ready to enter, but pride cannot have any place in you. You need to get your hearts right first. Pride cannot have, you have to humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. And new wine is coming to these new wine skins. Get ready. In Jesus name, get ready. I love you guys. You're watching Tiavi, Tiavi TV.